Hey guys, what's happening? So, pretty much done with this CNC machine. So, if you've been watching my channel, uh, I've been customizing this 3018 CNC, the high end version, the all aluminum version, uh, you know, with all the containment system. But uh, before I actually start uh, milling, I noticed that there was a, creating a lot of vibration in, in this upper uh, X ro rotation. As you can see, right in there. See it moving back and forth. Well, you shouldn't have any. Well, this is actually the worst thing you should have on a CNC. It's one of those spring couplers. So what's weird too is like the cheaper versions of the 3018 CNC machines actually have the right couplers, the solid rigid couplers. But this one actually came with locks on the side, which in theory would normally work, but the bearings are not good on this device. So. Yeah, that would, I mean, normally I wouldn't actually have, I would definitely have a solid coupler on the, on the, the stepper motor here. Um, because also, besides that, it creates like a spring, I don't know if I can hold it, but it basically unwinds. So if you go against pressure, you know, you, when you're pulling or pushing, it either wants to compress or it wants to pull away, throwing your, your uh, dimensional accuracy out of, out of whack. So I'm going to replace that with the solid coupler. So really, I mean, the, the printer is great. Those are really the only two things I, I noticed like, when I bought the printer. It's like, why the hell did they use like a 3D printer style coupler on uh, a CNC? Big time no-no. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get that taken care of. And same thing on the bottom too, and the, the uh, Y axis here. So I'm gonna go solid coupler. I also wanted to show you the vibration. So I'm running uh, open builds. I'm gonna turn the tool on here. Feel that vibration. Now when I touch it, here's less. Hear that? So this whole X axis is vibrating. Now that I actually have the uh, thing separate, now you can really see how much this actually is in there. So it's this actually bearing the, the lock cap. So normally that should be, if that was perfectly fine, that might, this probably would work. But you can't have play in the bearing like that. On anything CNC, always use Loctite. This is blue. Don't use anything. Don't use red. You'll never get it off without heat. I have about my I have to take the stepper off to get the to the threads here or the uh, set screws, but all right, let's try this again. Turn on the spindle. Yeah, no more vibration. So yeah, I probably could have cured this by um, you know actually getting a new bearing here, but that's you know, like I said, I don't even use this thing. So um, all right, cool. 